Shields up, Iron Breakers. We're kind of here coming at you with another episode of the Elden Ring Blind Playthrough. And as you can see, we've changed our armor. This actually became one of my favorite armors as I was playing yesterday on PlayStation 5. I really, really like the look of the Cadence set because I was very lucky with my other character and I got the Cadence set instantly. But I've actually had to grind it on this character. I've been grinding for like an hour now to finally get them to drop the damn thing. And one of the reasons why I had to swap armor is because this shield is a little bit heavier. I've actually upgraded it to the max that I can with um, with the renewable resources. That means with threes and fours. I did not upgrade it beyond that because, I, you know, I don't... With all of these changes and stuff, I only want to be upgrading things that, like, I can easily replace and basically getting runes is not going to be that challenging to begin with so i can easily replace these things i also upgraded something else i upgraded this now this weapon is very frustrating for me because i really want to use it like i'm not joking i really want to use this weapon the problem is it it scaling is not good enough and yeah it's very frustrating because like you can see here that you're looking at b scaling with strength it's like, just look at this. I mean, you got 199 off of the scaling on this versus 354. And I know this one's got, like, higher and whatnot, but I can actually customize this weapon, which makes it more attractive. One of the things that I'm noticing, though, is considering that this one's at plus 17, this one's at plus 12, if I actually put more resources into this weapon, there's a chance it can get better just out of sheer raw damage. But it's like, I don't think that the Inferno Crogier is, at, is ever going to compare to the other one. But, you know, at least now I can use it every now and then and not feel like I'm completely gimping myself. So for today, the plan is... Wait, am I in the lower portion of this? I am. But I never really explored the lower portion here very much because I just kind of like ran by. So I figured I'll explore the lower portion here a little bit. See if we missed out on any items, because last time we came through here, we even got invaded and everything. That was a fun time. Yeah, I'll play with this and I'll use the uh, weapon art just to check it out. Uh, it's alright. Interesting, the fire stays. Another cool thing about this weapon is that it actually has a different art too which is cool. I like the R2 on this weapon, which I didn't expect. I expected it to just have the same as the other Colossal Hammer, but the R2 on here is a lot more satisfying, so that's cool. Is that a dead soldier? Yeah, that soldier's dead. We're gonna have to deal with the Iron Maidens there. I'll help these guys out. It's a damn shame they nerfed this. They nerfed this move because you guys remember the first time we picked it up, it didn't consume mana. Now it does. Well, that's pretty fun. Fortunately, it burns through mana like nobody's business, which is a resource that I don't even have that much of. Uh-uh. Oh, wow. I just realized the parallels between this armor and these armor. You guys remember how these armor, he was also like holding a baby's head in there? Ow! That friggin' hurt, dude! What the hell? Uh, what was the item we picked up? We picked up an item in there. I don't even remember what it was. I don't think it was very important. Oh, you can see the, um... You can see the Castle of Shade, or the Shaded Castle, whatever that we did. That's cool. I'm pretty sure we got most of the stuff that we're meant to get from there. I hate these grabs, they're so annoying. Can cut that crap out. You know what I want to try? Oh, 
This is what I want to try. That wasn't even that much. And I'm in super heavy mode, which is not good. Seven hundred and twenty eight versus how much if I swing both of them? No, fifteen hundred. That's not too sharp. I'm dead. Don't you dare. Don't you dare kill me. No. Okay, we'll just go ahead and uh, move forward a little bit, because I don't want to be stuck fighting Iron Maidens all day. Let's just look for items. There's like, I still want to explore, but like, Iron Maidens are annoying as hell to fight. Oh, we, we killed that. Yeah, we killed that. We've done all that stuff down there. Let's go up this uh, rock here. Oh, there's a ladder there. Oh my god, there was actually a way to go up upstairs from here. And I never even noticed it. Okay, let's do that. I just realized that, like, as I was climbing this ladder, the hammer just disappears. Kind of makes you wonder, how would you climb this thing with that big-ass hammer? And then when we get to the top, he's going to pull the hammer out of his ass. Watch. It's going to be hilarious. We get to the top of this ladder, my character's going to be like... Shwoop. It goes like this, listen. <laughs> Imagine that the sound it would make. You'd get up top and go like... <laughs> I'm a child. Uh, yeah, there it is. Wait a minute. There's a tower up there. Oh yeah, this is... Oh, I'm coming up on the, on the back side from the place that I went to last time. So, there's a graveyard here. We'll go ahead and collect all these juicy runes. Because I'm actually running low on these. See, guys? I have I kind of feel like I've made much better use of my runes the way that I did. Because usually in Souls games, I end up with a lot of leftovers. But for some reason in this one, by using them the exact same way that I've been using them in other Souls games, I, I actually don't have that many. Like, look. I got, I got, okay, so now I have a couple, I guess, but like, oh, I neglected to count the first ones, I just counted these ones, that's why I ended up, to, okay, ne never mind, never mind, forget what I just said, this is, you don't even need to think about it, okay, you don't even need to think about it, alright, we can just ignore that part, and it's all good, poor little doggo just hanging out here, and I go ahead and I kill him, <clears throat> somber smithing stone six, we got a couple of those when we beast moded that stupid creature. Beat that bitch. Beat that dumb creature like the dumb creature it is. Okay. So this actually allows you to sneak up behind this camp. Now we can actually try to locate the treasure that the camp was talking about. Hello, bonk. Bonk. It's so satisfying using this hammer on a horse. Brutally satisfying. How are boys doing? Dude, this is maybe a little bit too violent, lad. These guys are sitting over here, pretending to they're wounded, and I just show up and I murder every last one of them. But then again, they'll probably be hostile, but actually, they didn't really seem to care that I was just hanging out, so this was very violent. I'm not, I'm not a, a violent person by nature, I don't think. I just like big hammers. I like explosions. You know, that kind of stuff. Badonk, donk You're all dead. Badonk. Oh, there's one of these. Hello. Really, dude? You gonna do me dirty like that? I didn't even test to see how much. Wait, what the hell? 
I didn't even test to see how much stability my shield has now. Pretty sure it's massive. Can you just, like, stop? We killed him by bonking on his head. Are you throwing lightning at me? You are. That's not very nice of you. You guys are not very nice. Alright, I don't appreciate that. And I want to let you know that I don't appreciate that. Either. Ow! You little prick. You think you're funny? Like, you think that this is a joke? Wait, he's not scavenging, he's eating him! You sick bastard. Here I was feel feeling sorry for you guys. I was thinking, well, I mean, technically speaking, it's still scavenging. It's just scavenging for a different for, for sustenance. He's not a cannibal, he's a scavenger. Let's not talk about that. Alrighty then. Let's go this way. Let's see what's happening here. We haven't been to the top of this tower yet. Hello? Is anybody there? Hello? Who's coming at me with a friggin' fire poker? Get out of my face. I'm curious though, what is the stability on this thing now? <laughs> I by the way, I call it stability. I I forget that there's a lot of people that started uh, their souls journey with Elden Ring. Stability is guard boost. For those of you wondering, it's just in previous games it was it was called stability. So this is just my muscle memory kicking in. But yeah, it's it's what they call guard boost in this game. And the higher the guard boost, it means that the less stamina is consumed when you block. Which is why I'm obsessed with guard boost. The thing is, in previous Souls game- Holy bow. Please be strength based, please be strength based, please be strength based, please, 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 please be strength based, please be strength based, please be strength based. It is! Longbow, which utilizes a series of pulleys and springs, the complex mechanism which requires advanced mathematical and mechanical understanding to craft, was likely made by a certain genius who learned Golden Order fundamentalism. Enhanced precision while shooting, enabling arrows to fly much further distances. This is the best bow in the game. This is the best bow in the game. This is the best bow in the game. It's that simple. This is the, apparently the composite bow equivalent, because the composite bow they gave us requires way too much dexterity. And I, I ain't about that life. Okay, so this is where you can get a good bow. Good to know. Because at this point, like, say, if you're starting a new game, right? You guys need to understand. Um, most seasoned Souls players, they're always thinking about, how can I improve my next playthrough, right? And, uh, and notice I said seasoned, not veterans. But, um... It's like we're always thinking, how do, how do we start the next playthrough, right? And with what I know now, right? What I know now about the game. And say, for whatever reason, okay, I want to do... I want to get this bow early. Like, we're getting this bow in this episode, like, what? I think 58? 59? I don't know. Whatever episode this ends up being, right? And this is the first time that we've seen this. But, but if you think about it, you can very easily do this now. You can... So you start in Limgrave, right? Limgrave, right? You start here. What you can do is you can just grab your horse. I mean, you can eat, you start here, you go to the church, then you go like here, grab your horse. After you grab your horse, just like right here. Grab the Decus lift first half, then you ride uh, I guess we have to go from above, right? So after you grab that, you're going to teleport like back here. And then you ride here. Wait, wait, where did you go? No, no you, you ride here. Then here there's a jump. You jump up. Then you ride all the way here. You ride all the way down here. Wait, 
Where do I have to go? No, you have to go upstairs. So you ride from here. And from here, there's a little stone that you can jump to at some point around here. You jump over the stone. You come over to this side. You ride over here. You run here. And in Faroth, you very quickly just figure out how to get the Dex Medallion. Just like run through the mobs, whatever. Now you have the two pieces of the Dex Medallion. Then you can ride. Because at the start, remember you guys how, how I was wondering at the start? If you could like... This is such a weird video to be doing during a Let's Play, but it's just like, guys need to understand my thought process. Remember how I was thinking, can I actually go around this before killing Godric? Yes, you can. You can come up to this bridge from here, jump here. Then from here, there's a path all the way here, and then you can ride all the way here. You take the lift of Dekas, then you can ride all the way here, and then you can pick up the bow. You can do this within, like, the first, I don't know, friggin' 20, 30 minutes of gameplay, depending on your skill level. So, you see, that's that's why information like this is so important for you to learn. And that is how a lot of us think about these games, right? We're playing them for the first time, we're experiencing the joy of discovery, but then, you know, we want to figure out how to get really powerful very early on. Uh, so, it says here... That these stones reveal a path, right? If I remember correctly, the, the, the treasure thing says stones reveal rainbow stones lead way to riches. I'm not sure if I've been down this particular bridge, valley, thingamabob. But let's try some. Uh, I can actually go ahead and equip. Eesh. Know what I meant to do? Uh, can I craft rainbow stones? Oh, I have 23, so I should be fine. Oh, you're kidding me. No way, dude. No way, you're not, no, you don't want me to fall there. There's no way you want me to fall there. That's a cliff, if I've ever seen one. Oh, no, wait, there's another one here. Okay, you're, you're supposed to follow these. And there's another one there. All right. Okay, here we go. Okay, this one drops. Are there no more? Here there are wolves. Where are we? Have I been through here already? What's in this zone? Let's just quickly explore. There's wolves, there's an arterial leaf there. There's a... Wait, I've been through this one, right? Yeah, it's open. Yeah, we've been through here. Never mind. I'm being a... I'm being a doofus. A doofus! Yeah, we've been through here, so we want to look... This for that red guiding stone, which was like... Here. Wait, did they disappear? No, it's over here. No way, Patches! Don't you dare, Patches! Well, no! If you really are that gullible. <laughs> you bastard! I actually did. I didn't think it was Patches until the cutscene triggered. I swear. Away from the volcano manor. <laughs> Bye now. Take care. Oh, wow. Okay. Thanks, Patches, you little dipshit. Wait, I remember this th this thing. I know where I am. Can I teleport out of here? I assume I can. God damn you, Patches. How could, how would you go and do me dirty like that? Patches the Untethered. D 
doing me dirty. Can't even open my goddamn map. Well, now we know what kind of treasure there was there, huh? <laughs> Patches, you filthy bastard. <clears throat> All right. All right. I guess we can uh, remove this one. I'll remember that, Patches. I'll remember that next time we meet. But I'm still not going to kill him. He's just such a nice guy. He's just such a he's just such a nice guy. You you don't want to kill him. You don't want to kill Pat. I mean, come on. Who wants to kill Patches? Come on. What kind of a monster would commit blatant murder on poor Patches? All right. So here's what we're gonna do. I said last time I want to pay more attention towards the crossing over, which is up there. Because last time, again, we ran through here, and this time I actually want to take a look around. I assume we don't get the um, the grafted scion. Because last time we came here, we had a grafted scion. No, no grafted scion this time. Okay. Some volcanic stones. Nothing down here that I can tell. Well, there's a flower. You can pick this up. Okay, looking good. What else we got? Nothing. There's just a stake here in case you get brutally murdered by the grafted scion. So, we're gonna go upstairs. We're gonna properly explore this this time. You guys know me? I like to be thorough. Damn, I, like, I love the physics on the Kaiden set. And it's like, if you really think about the Kaiden set, it makes so much sense. Because, like, the Kaiden, the main spot where you get them in uh, Limgrave, they're right next to a set of wolves, which is why they tame some of the wolves, and they skin others to make the cloak. Which I think is really cool. So we got some marionettes here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is there a reason to come here besides collecting stone? This dude's done. There's a flower. Okay. <laughs> Little tiny dude. Little tiny dude. Wait. Is there another marionette? Because we didn't get, like, a recovery thing. Well, then again, we, we are full flasks, so... But I still think you get you still get the thing, don't you? The symbol? So I think that last time we took this ladder, which goes up to the merchant. Here they are. Crap. Please stop. Please, please... You two are assholes, by the way. Assholes. Understand? I gotta put these um, 19,000 to use and um, upgrade my, my beast charm. Talisman, whatever you want to call it. Huh. <laughs> That poor guy. Hi. Bonk. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Bonk. Have I been to that earth tree? No, because that's the path that circles around. We'll have to go there before we hit up Volcano Manor. 
Okay, no matter. Shaping up to be our fourth boss fight. So, we didn't actually buy anything off of that dude. This time, we're gonna be taking this ladder. Where does this go to? Hello! There's a corpse here. There's the corpse and another ladder. Two other lad. No, wait. Can I pick up this ladder from here? It's a couple of great arrows. Oh, there was a, um... There was a puppet thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a different path than we, the one we took last time, which is why I wanted to come here and explore. I see some marionette dudes up there. Did I say puppet spiders? No. Puppet dudes. Oh, God. Looks like the marionette dude followed me. Look at him. Good on you. Look at you go. Anything on the edges here? Yeah, death. Okay, wait, what? It's so funny. I'm, I'm still thinking about the patches thing. Because, like, I think he gets you exactly the same way in Bloodborne. And I, I'll be honest, I actually wasn't reminding myself that Patches usually does that. Right up until you see the cut. Because always the same cutscene. It's the same cut. By the way, for those of you that never played, like, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, all of that. That cutscene is literally always the same. Like, all those people that argue about animations and stuff. That cutscene would trigger these people so hard because it's literally the same angle. It's like it's a it's an over-the-shoulder shot where you're you're like there's glowing things in the ground and it's an over-the-shoulder shot, and then Patches comes up behind and kicks you in the ass. So this happens in Demon Souls, Dark Souls, I think Dark Souls 3, because I don't think it happens in Dark Souls 2. If it does, then I don't remember. But anyway, Demons, Dark Souls, friggin' um Bloodborne. I don't remember if it happens in Sekiro. It's been a while since I played Sekiro, which, by the way, I might do a full playthrough of Sekiro because it's one of the few. It's the only one of the Souls games that is not in the channel because I pussied out when I saw the low numbers. I did. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not ashamed to say it. I pussied out like a bitch when I saw the low numbers of viewership on the Sekiro playthrough. But I still put it on my second channel. Ah! I would say that you people are mad, but that's pretty obvious. You can see the glow in your eyes. You've all been tempered by the Eye of Sauron. They will kill me if I'm not careful, though. Ow! Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Anyway, let's go this way now. I have yellow, yellow, bonk. Uh, I think I came here already, right? Yeah, we did this. I don't think I checked all the way in the back, though. So we'll go do that now. What's happening back here, eh? Is it a graveyard? Demi humans. That was a drive-by. Poison grease, and that was all of them. There are like three demi-humans out here. Okay. 
Ooh, volcanic rocks. That's a cave. Ah! Look here, little shit. Oh my god, this little dude's gonna mess me up, isn't he? Look at him trying to flank me. Uh-uh. Come on, dude, attack me. I dare you. There. Because the thing is about this build, with how slow this weapon is, a lot of times I do have to go for counters. And here there'd be a cave. Volcano cave. So, we're going to mark this one along with all of the other ones that we haven't been doing because we want to at least explore the area surrounding Volcano Manor. So yeah, we'll mark this one. We haven't done it yet. We'll come back here later. Later we will. Alrighty then. Let's go ahead collect that. Rickety ass bridge. Okay, so in here we don't really have a problem because this is done. Weak ass. With your weak ass! We actually beat it pretty good. Then again, I've spent enough time wiping on the other one to um, get to know its moveset reasonably well. And after you implement the fact that you have a horse, completely changes the dynamic of that fight. Yeah, this area still has huge glitches. This is gl not glitches, um, drops. This is drop, frame drop central right here. <clears throat> I love how it tripped all over itself when it was trying to do its ultimate. Shouldn't call it an ultimate, really. It's more like a death throw. Uh, I thought I saw something in the distance. Wow! From here, I can actually see my two things all the way over here. Like, you see where we are? We're looking at my number three marker from all the way out here. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we in the business like to call fucking impressive. And if you disagree with that, that's okay. That's on you. But that is really fucking impressive. Anyway. Gold Rune 3. Hello! Do I want to kill all these? I really don't. There's an item down there that we'll want to go and get. Don't spook the little dude. I love how he just turns around and he just sees, like, face full of stone mallet. That's what you get. You get a face full of stone mallet. Boys. Shh, 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 shh. Don't move. I think that they should potentially make it so that you're sneakier if you have lighter armor. I don't think I should be allowed to be as sneaky as I am with this big ass hammer. It's like, you turn around. I could almost, like, put the hammer down and hide behind the hammer. It's like, you can't see me. I'm hiding behind the hammer. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> Did I actually come here and grab this seed? I might have. 
Yeah, I did. Oh god, the, that drop. Yeesh! Yeesh! The zone needs some optimization from software, please! Good god, this is the worst offender so far. By far. Jesus. Jesus, bloody edge Christ. Oh, not these. Oh, hell no. Ah, oh, hell no. Oh, yeah, that's Fort Laid. Laid, Laid, something. Laid. Place where you got the prelates, crozier, crozier, whatever the hell you're supposed to call that thing. Anyway, from here, we're going to go down here. Oh, there's a multiplayer area. Miss me. I hadn't triggered this thing yet. Okay, am I gonna have to kill you? Is that what needs to happen here? You wanna learn a lesson? Cause I'll give you a goddamn lesson. Huh? You like that? Ah, you're running away? That's very smart. I don't you have a seat? Because you don't have an ass. That's why you don't have a seat. You're just a hand. You. Lord Rykard, if this putrid field of death is what your blasphemy would bring, then I can no longer abide. No one can. Okay. Oh, wait. There's, the, there's a worm face over there. Is there a stake? There's no steak. That dude's pretty friggin' big, though. Like, he's bought- Oh, there's no need for a steak. There's a thing. There's a thing right here. I'm actually gonna reset this area. <clears throat> we're gonna go and we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and gonna reset this. Uh, can we level up with the amount we had? No, we got 30,000. We can't level up. That's fine. This should be easy recovery. If I don't fall to my death. Hello, worm face? Are you cold? Wait. What? Why can I not hit it? No, 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 no. You nasty bastard. Hate these guys. Oh, he's almost dead. This will fix your stomach pain right there. There. Larval tear. Oh, what a nice guy. What a nice guy. So let's explore down in this direction. Something tells me that dude doesn't respawn, but I could be wrong. Okay, nothing here. Oh, hello. What are you doing? Alright, what do we got here? Sacramental bud. You guys were just like farming sacramental buds. Why? Why? Oh yeah, this is the um the tree that I was talking about. Okay, this is a summon area. Which means a boss fight is probably about to spawn. There's no stake though. Which is a little bit surprising. Oh, 
ulcerated tree spirit. 34,000 runes. Oh, this actually deals damage? I didn't know that. I thought this was just for the buff. Come on. Let it be finished. Get the hell out of here. Laid in a hard tier. Cerulean hidden tier. I should have started seeing these a lot more often, because I've been using the thing so much. Uh, so we're using this one and the other one that breaks. Which one's the laden? So Cerulean Hidden Tier eliminates all FP consumption in Mixed Physic. I could see that being really good. Infinite FP? Uh, the other one was Opaline Hard Tier, boosts all damage negation. No, 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 it was Hard Tier, boosts poise. Boosts poise is also really good, but I don't want to remove this, the Barb Crack Tier. I like this a lot. I could see, like, the Crack Tier and the Hidden Tier, but the thing is, the Strength Knot lasts a long-ass time. Like, the Strength Knot lasts more than the other effects, which is interesting. At least I think that's what it is, because usually when I use that, I'm left with a red effect for the longest of times. I wish I could get more charges for the thing, though. Golden arrow. I'm more of a golden axe kind of guy. Okay, so we got plenty of these boys here. <gasps> got him! Did I come all the way here last time? I don't know if I've been here. Golden Vow. Golden Vow increases attack and defense of self and allies. So it's the same thing as the Ash of War of the same name. Except I think the Ash of War is called like Sacred Vow. Isn't this where I got attacked last time? Yeah, we were here just earlier. Yeah, we are here earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where I am. Okay, so we can bail out of here now. Wonder if there's a way back up the bridge. I don't think there is, because that's where I got stuck last time. Okay, they stopped following me. So that means it is now safe to go back. Road of in Iniquity. And I gotta figure out a way to actually get to Volcano Manor. I'm gonna go to the top of this mount and figure out what- No, 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 I know where it is, idiot. That's fine, we can also go from here. There was like a boss there or something, if I remember correctly, right? There's a, a bridge 
kind of situation. Yeah, it's not really a bridge. There's a direct road. There's a direct road. That thing looks like Grunk. Now that wouldn't be Grunk, now would it? Can't, yeah, I can't target it. Oh no, it's just the giant. Oh. Okay, he triggered all of the, all of the sentinels in the location. Oh, he's mad. That's good. That means he'll kill all of the sentinels. Keep doing that. He's a mad giant. You guys are annoying to hit while on horseback. Okay, that's two of them dead. No, one. Ah, you're weak, dude. I don't even need this special, dude. I can end you right here. I thought he was going to be a little bit harder, to be honest. Didn't expect him to go down that easily. So is this my opposition to my entrance to Volcano Manor? The door is open, for crying out loud. So let's see this message. Again, a reminder. I'm playing offline, therefore all the messages left behind are by... Um... Developers. I thought this amount of fire, but I hardly feel a thing. I'll... I'll what? Jump? Oh, he got killed midway through the message. All right, let's go inside. Who lives in here? A vampire? All the red flames and stuff. How inviting. Let me guess, it's closed. Of course it doesn't open from this side. Oh! There's a, um, whatchamacallit? Grace thing. Hey! I've seen you! I'll be with you guys in a minute. I just want to see what else you got going up here. Well, I guess it would be no. It's bad manners. It's it's bad manners. Let's let's talk to the hostess before we move up. It's just straight up bad manners. I mean, who does that? Can I talk to him instead? Are you precocious? We rarely receive visitors to the volcano manor without invitation. Fascinating, and not unlike another guest we had long ago. So. Tarnished. Have you ever harbored doubts about the burden of grace and the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? If you have, why not join the Volcano Manor and fight with us, rise with us, against the Erd Tree? Why not? Your decision is most welcome. Now you belong to the Volcano Manor family. The drawing room lies down the hall. 
Make yourself comfortable. I am Tanith, the proprietress of this house. An honor to have you. Drawing room key. The drawing room is through the hall. Use the key I handed you and make yourself comfortable. Drawing room. Okay. I guess I'm wondering, why would you just, like, join the Volcano Manor? Have you been paying attention throughout this playthrough about how I don't trust the fingers and I want them dead? If she wants to go against the Earth Tree, sounds good to me. I suspect the fingers are basically roots from the Earth Tree to begin with. I'm not sure if that is the case or not. See, that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of these games, is that you don't know what's going on, but you get to choose your alliances, right? I like that. I like that detail a lot. Um, I'll explore this place. Let's just go ahead. Can I level up with what I have right now? Yes, I can. So we're gonna put we're gonna put Viger up to forty. And then we might pump some more endurance, or I might go for some more strength and endurance at the same time, because I want more strength as well. So she said the drawing room is here. And she said to go make myself comfortable. There's a corpse! In this room. Perfume bottle. Why would I make myself comfortable here? I don't understand. This one's blocked shut. Oh. Okay. Assuming this one's locked as well. Oh no. I can open a lot of these doors. Oh hi. Oh my. This dude almost looks like Havel. <clears throat> Recusant finger. Letter from Volcano Manor. Wait, are they the recusants? Because, like, the recusants were the people who killed Dalius' servant. I know this from my other playthrough. Uh, Lanya, whatever her name is. Hey, she said make myself comfortable. As far as I'm concerned, that means I can do whatever the hell I want. Uh, where's the letter? Was it not a key item? Oh, here it is. Written request from Volcano Manor disclosing the name of a tarnish to be hunted. Old Knight Istvan. It can be found in Limgrave. Find the red mark on your map for the exact location. They want me to kill Istvan, but Istvan's a nice guy. He helped me out. You. What in heaven's name are you doing here? The Volcano Manor is a pit of recusants who spit at grace and hunt our own kind. I hope you understand the weight of my words. I understand. Well, as long as you understand what you're saying. I thought you were tarnished bred by virtue. Perhaps playing that part led you to your doubts, I wonder. But Most definitely the did. The path you walk is blasphemy and leads only to a miserable death. I'm a blasphemer. Before you consider hunting any of your own kind, think on that. What does the recusant finger do? Attempts invasion of another player's world. Attempts invasion of another player's world successfully revived in his invasion. Recusant with the objective of defeating the host's fingers. His felt finger is covered in snake scales. As a heirloom to the Lord of Volcano Manor, bequeath tarnished to have become family. Welcome to the family. And who are you? A pleasure to meet you, Brave Tarnished. I am Raya, the scout. Very pleased to welcome you to the Volcano Manor under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. I remember somebody telling me that Raya needed help. Brave Tarnished under Lady T But I don't remember who it was.
This must be the actual drawing room, the one over there. Uh, can I open this door? This goes to the same room, I'm sure, right? Yep, same room, different door. So, Volcano Manor basically operates like a base of operations. I'm assuming they have a smithy in here as well. They need one. What if I was able to convince other people to join me? Obviously, Gideon Offner, no, because that dude's a goddamn zealot. Uh, can I open the other door? Oh, because the other one didn't open from here. Well, hello there! How are you doing? Well, you joined the manor, huh? I don't believe it. Didn't think you had it in you. All good, though. We're on the same side now. We'll do good work together. Oh, and of course, we can do business, if you like. Patches Emporium at the Volcano Manor. Especially for you. Are you surprised that I belong to the Volcano Manor? I always hated the gibberish about Lost Grace and the laughable Two Fingers. I thought I could lend a hand in unmasking the charade. Not to mention, Tanith has always made me curious. I guess her master must really be something, because she's pretty damn smug about it. Even after announcing her blasphemous ambitions, she still stands proud. I've never seen a woman quite like her. Okay. Nothing really changes from the things we can get from him, as far as I can tell. Alright. Cheers for that! Can I open this door? No, I don't think so. Nope, this one doesn't open from this side, so there's one more thing to explore from the manor. So, I would imagine if you say no, she kicks your ass out, and then when you start exploring, she'll beat your face. Something like that, and this would become a dungeon. Interesting. I mean, I almost feel like it should be predictable that, given this choice, this would be the choice that I'd make, considering the stuff I've been talking about. Okay. Let me just get some distance, because I need to heal again. Oh! Look at what you're doing. I mean, I wanted to heal, but if you want to just, like, get completely and utterly pummeled... Whoa, 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 How very forward of you. Why don't you settle down there, Giza? Giza's wheel. It's the whirly gig saw. Uh, it's a colossal weapon. Scales double D. You need 12. Mm -mm, ain't happening. Great iron wheel lined with flesh flaying blades. Device of torture used by Inquisitor Giza. The wheel spins, causes severe pain and blood loss. The sign was adopted for use of the iconic weapon wielded by the Iron Virgins. Strike the wheel against the ground. The set it spinning at top speed. Hold to keep wheel spinning can be used while walking. To push the armament into enemies. And it's got blood, right? Blood, blood loss buildup. This is probably one of the more potent blood weapons. It's really good. But we are a strength boy. We don't care about any of this. Okay, so now that I've done all that, and we've come up here and we killed Giza. Uh, let's go ahead. I wonder what happens if I go back to my other spot now. Did you read the letter left for you? Yes. That is the task the Volcano Manor desires you enact. You will be compensated once the deed is done. Good luck. If you are loath to hunt your own kin, so be it. But you must leave this house at once. This is a war against the Erd Tree. We have no place for the meek, nor the luxury of keeping clean hands. The letter describes the task. You will be compensated. Okay. She said there would be a red mark in my map.
Istvan must die. That is what we'll do, but that's going to be in the next episode. So if you guys are enjoying the blind playthrough of Elden Ring, make sure to hit it up with a like. Helps out a lot. If you guys want to stay up to date and subscribe, bell notification icon, all that jazz. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong. Stay safe. Peace out.